Hey everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stones Lunatic Mode, still doing those ruins of Valny. And uh, with me again is the original Raisins. How are you doing, man? Doing good. Our, our stream is ruined. We're in the ruins of Valny. We're in, like, I don't know. But no, this is going to be fine. <laughs> so I remember we just got this, like, amazing Nigo. Okay, maybe amazing uh -huh. is, like, going too far. It's been a minute since I've seen this level up. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, we're on to the next one. It's been a while since we record it once again. So, again, if we seem heavily disconnected from the narrative, that's why. No other reason. Whatsoever. That's right. I'm like, who's this unit here? It's like, what? There's a, Why do we have like, a sniper that's game. not Ines? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do we promote these people? But yeah, no, we're into the Water Temple map, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, like... I think this I is one we of the Water Temple maps. I think the next one is also Water temple -y. Yeah, that's right. I remember... I think we were talking about it. I'm like, no, 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 no. There's only one Water Temple. And then you, like, sent me a link on Wad to something that's, like, literally half water. There's like, only okay, one Water Temple. Then explain this. <laughs> 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 What's going on here? Yeah, I I think this one will be a little tricky because the units we've been using, relying on them mostly, are Marissa and Colm and Nimi, and none of them are particularly great against Gorgons, and there are three range options. And there's like so many Gorgons, so many eyeballs, a couple sniper guys, a couple death goyles, and the, the team is split up into three. Uh, we have one squad at the bottom, only three people. Mm. Uh, one squad in the middle with four, and then we have one squad up top here with another four. So we have eleven people total, which is a little more than we've been we've been used to. And looking at it, I think we're kind of forced to go a certain direction with most squads. Like this squad, they don't have anything to do except to go up and right, like just go across this bridge, fight here. Mm -hmm. So there's no point I think in going too far to the right with this group. Like they can maybe fight here. They can get this uh, this gargoyle with a spear. And just one of those guys that we cannot make. We can't make him use the steel lance. Like, this is it. If we want the spear, we have to kill him on player phase. I think. Right. Yeah. We have to like jump in his range, right? Yeah. Like, hmm. Like, we have. So to we have like a million there. boots. So yeah, we have. We should be fine. We have ten move on six move units, and we have Tethys. So I think we can do a turn one, and then hopefully survive from there. And then once this group is done, I think they just go back down and like start helping out here, because this group I think has the hardest task. They have they have to fight this squad over here because they're the closest to that by far. And then they kind of mm -hmm. also might have to take on this group, depending on how they move. Uh, we'll see which enemies are aggressively moving towards us and which are not. And we have a chest over here, too. I think that's the only chest. I think there's literally only one chest here. So let me just mm -hmm. double check that I have my lockpicks in order. Do you have one? No. Do you have no. one, then? No, but we can give oh. him this energy ring to max out his strength at 20, and then we can give him the lockpick, I guess. <laughs> the one strength energy ring. Yeah, no, it's everyone's going to be all over you. <laughs> it's either that, or we give it to, like, Ephraim, which is probably also one strength, or... Tethys, or Which is... Nimi, who's not done growing yet, or yeah. Mulder? Maybe you can give or it to Mulder, Mulder I guess. Or Gary. Maybe Mulder's fine. I was actually going to ask about the uh, bishop situation here, because, like... <laughs> no, That's a very I sensitive mean, I... way to talk about Arthur. I like that. Okay, I know we're running out of bishops, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... I, I, it seems like maybe a good class to bring here because, as you mentioned, there's a mm -hmm. there are a lot of range yeah. attacks coming in here. Yeah, so it might be better to bring uh, Rev over Natasha actually if we want to go full on uh, sweaty mode because Natasha mm -hmm. has no attack power and no speed. Uh, yeah, Rev is no, a little better probably. We no, like he's, literally he's anything. Clint's coming next map. Okay, uh, where is Rev? He's like in the left. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's way better than Natasha. Why am I bringing Natasha? <laughs> let's let's bring Rev instead. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I was already was talking smack about races his preps, but at least he completes his preps. <laughs> Alright, he probably doesn't need three light tomes, but we probably want to ditch... I think we can get away with no aura then, I guess, because I want to keep his speed intact. Maybe... I don't think he can use a tornado, it's like the one thing he can't do. But we need restore, yeah, no. definitely. We kind of want physic, but oh. I also want purge. Yeah, I remember you were like... You're praising his light rank, right? Because it's like all my other bishops just like accidentally get S rank sevs, right? Yeah. But oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's kind of nice that he has that at base. It's also annoying because when he's a boss, he crits you. But you know, nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Uh, be. Mm -hmm. We could put Latona on Mulder. Um, I think we put it in convoy and I use it when we need to. In fact, if we put uh, Mulder, I'm not sure which quality. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. So okay, so he doesn't have access to convoy. Okay, we can do this. Um, yeah, let's give the energy ring to Mulder then, I guess. I kind of like that more than do one strength on Colm. As much as I like the idea of maxing out strength on Colm, he's gonna, like, he's gonna, he's gonna silence her, right? He doesn't need it. Yeah. All right. As long as you like green number, yeah. So. Yeah, green number absolutely also important. Okay, so Mulder has that, and then Colm. 
can take out a lockpick or a chest key or whatever he wants. And that way he'll yeah, be that'll fine. be good. Let me get a three use elixir in here if I want. If I have one, we're spare, running out of boots. Set this, Hayden. Hayden, you don't need yours, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> never need it. No, anymore. never will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have a we have a brave axe. We should put that in convoy too. A brave bow. Okay, that should do. And a silver oak, and elixir and a bunch of other good stuff on Hayden that will never get used. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably not. This I looks mean, pretty good. We've used almost everyone. We're going to bring Noel as well, which will be fun. Okay. Get some, Ooh. Get some phantoms in here, because these there guys have some high attack power. And not every team has access to a barrier. Yeah. We have here... We do have Latona, I guess, for like the, the long range stone curage, right? But... Yeah. Yeah. We, but we Should have it, good? but we don't have it, because only Molar can use it. And Molar's nowhere near the convoy. So if we want to have access to Latona, we have to give it to like Nimi or, or Molar or Colm. That yeah, should be good. Or we can switch, and I'm... We can switch Molder with uh, Rhea, but I feel like this squad needs Molder no more. Because there's only three, That's right. and Molder is a Boulder. Counts for two. I guess we can... We could ditch the Hoplon Guard, but that seems very dangerous. Yeah, no, let's just keep the Hoplon Guard. Yeah, let's... I think we can give Marissa a... Uh, what's it, what does we need? Latona? We're never going to let her die, right? So we can just give her yeah. Latona, and then hopefully we can get away with it. And maybe we don't give it a lance reaver instead. We just give her another killing edge, and then we just have Garrick take care of people with lances, like uh, this guy right here. Yeah, like these gargoyles. Should be good to go. Okay, actually, this is Molder and Cole. This is Coleman Molder <laughs> or Coleman Nimi. Coleman Nimi, so, which is so which Tona, assassins, which... if we need it, is over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, can anyone do anything about that? No. I mean, uh, we could throw it in Cole instead. We could like swap him real quick. I mean, like we can have Cole swap put... the lance reaver over. Drinks changed with Marissa. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, much better, much better. Much better. All right. All right. So if you need curing, you know, go to Colm. It will, it will cure you. Okay. Let's see how this uh, how this works out. Mm -hmm. So so I was also looking at the reinforcements, and oh God. there are no reinforcements from, like, the very bottom right, uh, but there's a lot of reinforcements from, like, other stairs. And by a lot, I mean, like, basically something from turns two through nine, something will appear. Oh, really? Yeah, not oh. not in every spot, but like somewhere, something's gonna happen. So we should right? try to so. be here turn two if, if we can. Um, turn them. two is these stairs north of like Ephraim's group. It's like that flat three stair. Oh, we could, we could probably block those then, right? Uh, yeah, it should be good. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll turn it here for a bit to save ourselves the time then. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let's let's work on the the, the death coil here first because he has like seventy four HP. We can reach him turn one and just try for an assassinate. I kind of want to have just support range right, doing that. And maybe what we can do is, like, have Garrick do this. And then dance him. Or like have I see Garrick... what you're thinking. I think it's strong, yeah. I, I want to get support bonuses on Marissa before committing my dance, but I don't know if it's possible. Hmm. Like, well, like, okay, so suppose you don't do that. Where's your dance going to go, right? Like, Yeah, it has to be, like, dance Garrick from here. Mm -hmm. But then he can only move and attack. I think... If we want to have Garrick near Marissa to get the support bonus, I think we have to dance Garrick after fighting here. Mm -hmm. Which Yeah, this should be good. And here's the thing, like, you say, oh, he has to move and attack, but he can do something like, you know, go north and then go two squares left of that death coil with, like, a hand axe equipped just to fight. And that's still providing support bonuses, right? Oh, true. So, I guess he could just, like, equip the hand axe and fight all these clones. Yeah, that's true. This one is yeah, so right, no. We just... kind of don't want that. Um, do, oh, I was about to say, do they move first? But, like, I think probably. And also, there's no way to tell, right? It's like, 65. He's gonna have, like, a 100 hit. Garrick has, like, good avoid. He could probably dodge that stone anyway. It's turn one. Yeah, it's All turn right. one. Also have a, what is it called, supports. We need to do it from south, right? Yeah, in order to get the dance, you're right. All right, well, let's shoot for this, I guess. See what happens. We still have loot with a uh, physic. There we go. Every time. Easy. Every time. <laughs> still love the spinning shield. Yeah, especially with these large HP bars from Lunatic Mode. <laughs> it's quite good. <laughs> okay, hold up. The stone can never reach me here, right? Yeah, no, it cannot. So let's go here. We dance. Mm -hmm. We have this. The we whole can, dance animation. We can watch it. It's been a while for me. I can watch this. I it's can been sit a while this the dance animation. Now I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> uh, that was cool. Right, cool activity. Uh, Molder can stay off for now. Let's turn off Viev as well. What? In yes, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we Garrick here? Question mark? Uh, I think I bit... Well, where, you where know we what I was saying? Here's the thing. I was saying, like, oh, we do a bit further left to hand axe those guys, but actually, how about we just, like, garm this guy so that we guarantee the spear, right? Oh, I mean... Like, 
I well, understand if, that this means that Marissa can't do anything, mm -hmm. but you know, if she we're willing to do that, we fail. might as well try with Marissa first to see what happens. That's true. Yeah, we might as well. You're right. Yeah, I mean, she's never let us down, right? We could do this too if we really, really want to. Then we can have Garrick like go further. Oh, that up. guarantees it. Yeah, but Crimson Flash. True. Uh, all right, I think we have to update Flash. Coma. Yeah, no, it's update the Flash oh. counter. Oh, I, no, it doesn't work. It's, doesn't work. It's, it's Wait, something. Hand X? Hand X from the left. There's though? no way he doubles, right? Oh, come on, give him a go. From the left. Oh, you're right. Um, okay. Even from the left, we do not double. We kind of want to protect yeah, was... Marissa from the eyeball, probably. But she's low on That's health. That's true. Which means we can't uh... kill him. Which means we have to guard him just from no, here. No, we can, we can do left. Yeah, we can guard him from there. All right. Garm it is. Oh, no. He's not going to use it on enemy phase anyway, because everything here is too range. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. We can't accidentally use some mm -hmm. things. It turns out like the enemies know they just attack at one range. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, we're good to go. All right. Spear obtained. Thank you. Frick. Money. And... We have a bolting, but now we're going to visit Marissa. Mm -hmm. Could Luke maybe have been better going left? Because I'm thinking about this bottom left group, and like they kind of have two directions that they want to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Both maybe. Uh, these are going to go back afterwards, I think, because Ephraim's group is going to go cruise through here anyway, right? So, oh, you're totally right. Yeah, we just I just wanted to get the Gargoyle Spear in turn one, and then after that, maybe mm -hmm. they can uh, they can divert. Ephraim is probably fine javelining these guys through the wall, maybe. They have like some barrier in as well. Yeah, I think they're going to go around. Tethys can help with that. And then, yeah, they need to help with the bottom groups, probably. Um, mm -hmm. So with the reinforcements in mind, do we, like, dedicate up or right? So I guess right is, like, we're trying to KO the map early, but there's no reinforcements that appear from there. If we go up, then we have the potential to maybe plug the reinforcements, and also, like, we're just getting towards the chest, which is something we want to do anyway, right? Yeah. So... Uh, well... We don't so, do a whole lot of damage to these guys. Demon Sir. Like, whoa. Shelter. Yeah, he's a goddess icon. <laughs> <laughs> we, have enough, we, have, we don't have to do anything. I like this one too. <laughs> 100 gold. Whoa. 100 gold, yeah. And then another stone guy, of course. We might have to take him a bit slow, but uh, these guys are not very good at counterattacking. I was about to say. Except Boulder. Oh, he, he kills this guy, I guess. Ooh. I almost want to, like, bury your Boulder, but he doesn't. we don't have a pure water here. He still dies in two hits, I think. Yeah, even with that. Yeah, I mean, we could chance it, but there's, like, three guys that will hit him. At the very least. He says he dies four. in two hits? Oh, god! Yeah, it's quite crappy. Um, whereas Mulder, Wait. or Akom, he's like better off to dodge, but not by that much. Like, he's only getting like seven of Void from Nimi. Mm-hmm. She's our safe state on turn one, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if we have Nimi uh, with maybe like, the Nidhogg on any oh, phase? Oh, come on. No. I know, this is sad. But Kolm gets three attacks, so if we move Kolm in, we can Oko this guy. Oh, that's true, that's true. So um, we put, like, Colm, like, a little bit behind her, but not next to her. And then uh, there will be one guy that, like, blocks the way at one range, but then we counterattack two of these three, I think. Mm. Which is pretty good. I think that's the best turn one play we have here. We could, like, put Mulder in front as a light rune or something, and then hope that they go for Nimi, who defends with the support bonuses, and the hop I have no idea. Right? Um, yeah... Nimi does take more damage, but also Nimi takes more damage, so she might die. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if we one-shot this guy and we put Molar in the way, then there's less squares for them to attack Nimi from. But also, no, nah, that's the same amount. I think. We'll I, just I do like how we like made the preps. It's like, yeah, this will be totally fine, and now we're like actually faced with the possibility of Nimi and Colm facing I four mages. I think they would all like... die in two hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mulder does not have a barrier, so I think we just kind of have to chance it with one of the bite away. If it doesn't work, well, we have preps. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill this guy. You just get in there. I'm not sure if putting Mulder in the way will increase our odds of success. Maybe if Mulder plugs the whole north of Nimi, that might work. They'll still yeah, two-shot Nimi, but there will only be two guys going for her. You know what I mean? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's do this. This gives luck, right? Yeah, so it's a little more extra void. And then we can go here. I think Mulder can actually kill these guys, yeah. Whoa. So, if we put him in the right spot, maybe... Okay, I think this is the best we can do. It's like, we put Mulder in a spot where he cannot get attacked by this Gorgon. We put him, like, here. Mm -hmm. It blocks this guy from getting an extra chance on Nimi. Now, she just has to dodge one of these two. Yeah, it, does this Gorgon on the right have a stone, or no? Yeah, he does. I mean, of course it does, No, he doesn't, right? he doesn't, he doesn't. Whoa! No, the, the, this guy has stone. Okay. And he'll probably use it if he can. Like, if he goes on a square where the eyeball is, he can actually try to stone Mulder, which would be bad news. Mm. But yeah, but that means the eyeball's already moved, so that's, like, less bad news. True. 
Yeah, you're right. Okay, I think this is, this is the best way to do this, because like, I don't think it can kill anything with Purge anyway. Oh, actually... Oh, what? Well, this breaks the Purge, but it also... Well, it doesn't Is ensure Navy's safety, so it's probably not worth doing when you still have some uh, well, Purge targets. If we go south, then... We, we can, can actually block it off. And then yeah, yeah. another with Purge? Yeah, like, int intentionally break the Purge. Mm, I like that, so, actually. That's kind of good. Okay. So that it swaps to the Divine as well. Alright, right, we can do it. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Alright. Let's do this. I, I'll probably have to use the Purge anyway, so it's fine. Alright, mm -hmm. squad, good job. Last group. I swear. Okay, so these, this one is stone, this one is stone, this one is not, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but stone is, like, not that terrible, because, one, we can put a stone in range that will just get killed instead, and two, any enemy that stones us is not attacking us, right? So if we're on range of one guy that has stone, that's it, it's fine. We just kill this guy on one. We can and we can just restore, like, we'll be fine. Yeah, as long as it doesn't... As long as we're not exposed to stone and... Uh, as well as a attacker for that turn, we're fine, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so why don't we... I think Ephraim and Tana had like a C support, but I'm not sure if I should rely on it now. Uh, these are okay odds if we put Tana in front of them. Or you should just like send it with a Sigmund or no? Like, I, I don't know, I feel like we're I getting close-ish to the point where it's like, I just want to spend these... Kind of, the... but it's from... Yeah. I'm gonna kill Lance, but... Soon, soon there will be there will be Sigmund. Plus, Ephraim always crits, right? Yeah, that's right. I remember I remember the story now. Mm -hmm. Ephraim always crits. Remember the storyline. In fact, mm -hmm. we might be able to get away with it like this now. Mm, Ooh, with I'm Pierce not... Javelin? No. Yeah, I, I think I turned our animations off. And also, like I said before, there is a fix for Pierce glitch uh, now. Ooh. I just haven't updated it yet. I think if we, hmm. If we're Tana, like, here, there's no way for us to die turn one, which seems to be a good way to go about it. So just do this, and then, like, try to bait the Gorgon into killing us instead of using stone, maybe? Or we yeah, can bait the good. eyeball over. Either, either way works, I think. Let's just put him here. Yeah, I mean, either way, like, we are subtracting one attack from the enemies. Mm -hmm. Is actually, is Rehab close enough to cast Restore at anybody? Yes, he is. Okay, so... You mean, yeah, yeah, he is. Shoot me? One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. I mean, he can go in Null Square. Wait. You can't, like, actually Restore oh. here, so... Maybe we should do this, just because otherwise, like this way, We're getting wrecked, the yeah. only way we get wrecked by stone is if the eyeball moves first, which I guess I, we should I, check a move order. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of getting wrecked, I mean to be fair, there's no way for us to like check move order without like sending the turn, right? Yeah. This is this is me checking move order. We're not committing. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. This. This, this is. Should... Oh wait. Now he'll dodge because it's less than fifty. He'll be fine. See. That's true. We deserve it. It's turn one. We deserve all the good RNG. That's right. All right. Turns out not having one to range doesn't matter. <laughs> they will attack in melee, as promised. I feel like this is actually... I'm not sure if it's quite intentional, but the way that this map allows you to counter two range enemies with one range attacks is quite funny. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost... It's like all these narrow hallways, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the ways it doesn't let you counter two range enemies by the two range using attacks, archer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now Nimi cannot suffer from success. Easy. Okay, we can officially get wrecked by stone here. Ooh, oh, right, we have a kill lance, that's right. They, they prefer damage, right? Because stone doesn't do damage. On the kill lance, right, really? Well, yeah, because stone, just, it's it's a it's an attack, but it's okay. not. Um, oh. um, she should be fine. I don't think she gets doubled by Shadow Shot. Emphasis on I think. I think. She'll be okay. It's kind of like Monka. Yeah. It's like. Hands back to the Gorgon. Woo -woo. Scary ass map this is. Mulder. Whoa. It's okay. We're divine Mulder. Holy. We're fine. He's so good. <laughs> He's very good. All right. So this group is at full health. Uh, loot is injured, but not in range of anything besides the Shadow Shot guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have reinforcements from here now, right? Uh, yeah. It says, okay, reinforcement. It says one from the Sarah's near your group above. Now, I don't know if it's left, right, or center. I mean, it can only be one, right? I would gamble on center. Like, they like symmetry, okay. right? Yeah. So I think we put Null there. He's like the most disposable unit we have. Everyone else should probably attack. Mm -hmm. So We don't even need like him to heal, right? Null? Yeah. No, like, he, doesn't, he won't even need to cast heal, so... Yeah, he, he's fine. He's, he's completely free. Um, we probably just make a guy that walks this way and baits a shadow shot, actually. <laughs> we just heal loot, probably, with like an elixir. And that way you won't see any kills with Shadow Shot other than the, the Phantom. 
Yeah. And if we bait him this way, that also allows this group to further advance this way anyway, which is what I want. So, like... Yeah. This guy, actually, this guy might die this turn, depending on how this all plays out. We kind of want, like, Tana and Ephraim to deal with this entire closet of monsters here, right? Like, yeah, either that or Garrick, but I don't think he's great here. Uh, so. he's, like... He, he counterattacks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the nice thing is... Um, I don't remember. Uh, I don't think these guys had an opportunity to attack anyone. So we probably don't know to move forward. But right now, this guy's blocking all the archers. Yeah, so. I, I guess the Gorgon is before all the... Oh, no, you're right. We hit, They had no opportunity, so if, we have no idea. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't really know. I'm thinking if, it be, if it's better for Marissa to do this, then, if we're not going to counter them efficiently anyway. Because Marissa has mm -hmm. better avoid, probably. 98 versus 79. So. It's a bit better. Mm -hmm. A little bit. And I mean, if it fails, we can still hand axe, right? So it's fine to try this. But if it if it doesn't fail, it's great because then we can kill the, the shadow shot guy. But we don't really care about yeah. shadow shot guy because we're gonna use uh, a phantom on him anyway. So I say we send a crimson flash here. Just do it. Okay. It all it it all ends up being crimson flash, right? Mm -hmm. So we do need to heal loot herself this turn. So hopefully, yeah, okay, we're fine. Not oh, as sucks though. Oh my goodness, Marissa. Marissa. She's out of practice. Oh, we have a dance. That's right. We Wait, can, we whoa, we have things. a dancer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so what we can do is like hand axe, dance Garrick, or we can have Luth heal herself and heal someone else. I guess we should see if this hits first before we do anything Yeah, else. we should. Okay, It's the nice. random event. It's a, it's a random cannon event. Okay, the cannon so event, yeah. We could dance Garrick, Garm the dude, but we can also mm. just have Luth heal herself. And then she probably won't get attacked. Um, Wait, we... where's the elixir? Oh, it's on yeah, Garrick, right? So. Loot doesn't have space, but everyone else here does. It's on Tethys. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just save the Dancer of Turn for now, for like a second. Let me unequip this bolting permanently for now. Mm -hmm. Elixir up. She's even superior at Elixir Golf. Look yes. at this. <laughs> All right, let's come a little bit closer. And then we'll see if we can do anything with this dance. The bottom group, probably not. Yeah, we might have to like end up dancing Garrick and just garming this guy anyway if we have nothing better Bottom. to do. Mm -hmm. Bottom group's kind of like this whole Nimi Colm situation. Imagine if Mulder wasn't there, right? Uh -huh. Like, I don't know. I kind of end up in the situation sometimes where it's like, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like everyone's in the wrong square, fighting the wrong thing. Yeah. You know? Well, it's it's not that hard to remedy now from here now, right? We just kill this yeah. guy with Nimi, and then. Uh, Colm goes up to... Actually, I don't know if Colm can reach his 10 move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Mulder might have Just to be the one who goes over there. He's a little closer and he has 2 range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, he can make it 2 to Gorgon. Who has to... But then what? So, well, yeah. I think... I don't think he kills Gorgons because he doesn't double them. They're too fast for his 24 speed cap. So Mulder might just have to self-heal. Yeah, I think if he just walks up and, like enters the room and uses an elixir, then we should be fine because the Gorgon, like, I, I think it's really risky to, like, attack a Gorgon with stone because then it's like, what if you get stoned? Then yeah. an enemy phase, it just demon surges you. It's like, you're kind of wrecked when that yeah. happens. I think, I don't, hide, I don't hate the idea of running up to him and healing with Mulder, but I think we have to put Colm behind him if we do that because if Mulder gets stoned here, it's really, really bad. But if we put Colm behind him, he'll definitely just demon surge Colm, right? Yeah, That's Demon Surge or Stone, Calm, something like that. Yeah. So, unfortunately, there will be a support bonus for him, but that's fine. Let me hoard a bit of Nidhogga uses so we can see Nimi dodge. Mm -hmm. The Nimi dodge animation, the classic. The sniper dodge animation, you never see it because when do snipers ever get attacked, right? That's right. You always keep them safe on enemy phase where they can't counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we do need an elixir from Calm, but Calm is going to go behind the motor anyway, so. I don't think it really matters a whole lot where they go exactly. Like maybe, oh, maybe on the stairs. Does that matter? Uh, that really right. matters on like turn three, apparently. So, uh, well, they might come on turn three, right? Like turn. I mean, we still don't know how that works, right? Like which turn uh, they actually appear. Well, the page did say there was a turn two reinforcement. So if that didn't show up, then it seems like the page is mm -hmm. speaking about like turn two, like the end of turn two enemy phase, right? Okay. Okay. I tried to see what Lightbrand does in this situation. From here. Wait, actually, that means he'll counter Demon Search. Maybe he won't like that. I'll give him Killing Edge. All right, mm -hmm. give me that. Because what if he thinks, oh, Colm counters me, Mulder counters me, I'm just going to use Stone instead, and he's going to pick Mulder, and it's going to be bad. Oh, true. Hmm. No, that's smart. That's smart. Okay, apparently this whole group doesn't move, so that's good. We can take our time with those. 
Mm -hmm. And then I think both Ephraim and, and Tana can only kill these guys with their respective holy weapons. And I have, like, think so. It's just the Gorgon who's thick, right? Like the <laughs> Crimson Eyeball or whatever is usually just super okay, fine, Ephraim right? cannot double uh, these guys. So maybe we do like this. This kills anyway. Yep. And then we do the other one with Ephraim. Yeah, seems pretty good to me. Kill our lands. I mean, Rehab is available anyway, so this is fine, I think. Oosh, oh, no crit? What the heck? I know. Well, to be fair, we, we were probably thinking of him critting, in which case he, his, his trick doesn't work. Oh, yeah, we need to... We, we, we need the surprise we, we crit, right? We need to right? believe, so... but we need to not think. We need to not pray. Just simply mm. believe. Okay, uh, we have 48 total bulk. So he survives Shadow Shot. So we can just bait him with the Phantom. That's a long reach. Okay, so just go here, see if we can block the reinforcements. Put him like right next to Tana. That should be in range. Yeah. And he'll go, be forced to go this way and then Ephraim just bonks him on the head. Yeah, and we've already seen that guy move too. So like we have proof yeah, of that phenomenon. We have, we have visceral proof. Oh, we don't have physic here. So good thing that Ephraim survived without our help. Yeah, good thing we buried him turn one. Mm -hmm. Actually, do, don't we just dance Garrick and like kill him anyway? Yeah, we could, but I already did all this work. <laughs> I mean, but like, what else are we going to do except that? <laughs> Save Garm uses. I mean, we can pure water with Garrick. He hasn't done what about anything. like Excalibur or something? Um, Excalibur? I mean, if that means... Oh, we could live here, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know what our AS is like with Excalibur. It weighs her down a ton. Wait, 13? Yeah. It it's weighs... actually like, wait, 8, so 16 speed? Yeah, that's not enough to double, so I don't think she'll one-shot either. Like, I think the physical units is barely one-shot. On Gorgons. Yeah, I, th I think there's a there's like a way to back out the way the shadow shot by checking a void, right? But it seems like kind of a strange hobby. Yeah. I can find a way to shadow shot real quick. Let me just like look it up. <laughs> Let me look at the numbers with Gar. It is twenty weight. Okay, yeah. Well, we didn't counter those, so we can try this. I guess it doesn't really matter. I just feel like. We have yeah, one more on, floor after this that could be really, really huge, where we might need five, five Garm uses or something. Yeah. Well, there's two more floors, and then there's also the uh, the thing, right? The the Draco zombies. Yeah. So we need a lot for that. We do still have two hammer uses as well. Okay. Repair. So we could repair Garm if we really want to. But yeah, also, I, I think just want maybe... him to like. I just wanted to get baited to attack just the Phantom. I just think that would be really cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm I'm kind of over here pessimistically thinking like, what if you know Marissa gets like yeah, totally destroyed. But that that's happen. probably not gonna happen, right? I, think they had like I guess you could just like hit. attack with a killer axe or something, like just cause. Alright, alright. No matter what, it'll be down to the RNG. Watch this like change his AI because he's low on health, and that will get Marissa killed somehow. <laughs> I think I've seen somehow. that happen. They like, go into oh, really? AI or something. Yeah, they hmm. if you weaken certain enemies, they go ahead and move with order. So it, probably intended so they can like move onto forts before other people or something. I don't know what the idea is. Hmm. Looks like she dodged anyway though. Oh, there's stone. The guy, yeah, they'll like move ahead. Oof. Oof. Well, looks like he's uh, stoned, stoned off his butt. Whoa. This Gorgon does not care <laughs> she has one HP. Hey. Whoa, what? You didn't warn me about that one. Well, neither did what? <laughs> so, really? Like, yeah, it says turns two and three, one from the stairs near your group above. Huh. To be fair, this is a translation, so maybe they like got it right in Spanish, but you know, <laughs> it's possible. Oh, do we have to try this? Mm -hmm. No, we don't, we don't have to try that ever, but it's kind of inconvenient because kind of like a... uh, I guess she can do it, and then we just don't engage the gargoyle right now. That might be better. Like, I think it's better to get yeah. rid of the gorgon. He, he seems to but dictate more actions. The the gargoyle having like less move is kind of inconvenient here, but you know. Yeah, I guess you could have we could have made him suicide into Mulder if he wasn't a different spot. Ooh. Thank God for sure that sure shot. shot. <laughs> I guess we could just take this turn to get the chest, and then afterwards, all, the, all three of these move units can move mm -hmm. out, I guess. Yeah. The, Wad says there is going to be a reinforcement from the stairs, though. The stairs? Yeah, on Colm's stair, oh. on this turn. I knew that. No, I don't know if I could have longbow. I don't think I could have killed them with a longbow. So I don't think so. I think this is the best play. Yeah, I guess we just wait here for one turn to block the reinforcements, kill an enemy, I guess, mm -hmm. and get the chest in a bit. They're just all chilling out in the treasure room. Yeah. Is there going to be more from this like place? Do we just have to put a phantom there for a bit? It says turn two and three, so... Oh, okay. Well, it's turn three right now, so I guess I'll throw a phantom on it. 
Or sounds good. Yeah, because because we're gonna this guy's dead, right? Yeah, he's very dead. <laughs> Take him out. Get so Felicia Tana, right? And then yeah, we do. Nice, nice. Okay, uh, we can half break this wall with Ephraim. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of this uh, this guy. Other right half is Garrick, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we know Garrick has a shaky history with these guys, especially because we didn't pure water him last turn. Uh, he's got enough speed to double with the hand axe, but I think he does like 20 damage per hit. Yeah, it's not really hand. like that. Yeah, it's exactly 20. So, unless he crits with the hand axe, I guess we can dance him to do it twice. That's true. And we have like loot here with the staff, don't we? Yes, loot can uh, physic him if he gets hurt. So, he's probably going to be fine. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we just. Uh, this group was going to come down to help out here anyway, right? So maybe just yeah. start moving down here. Or like, I don't know, Marissa like here to help Garrick, but still on our way down, right? That's right, yeah. I, I was just about to say the same thing. Okay, so we can try this. He won't die in two hits. And this will get rid of the stone threat, which is huge. Get right, really lucky dodge, crit. crit. Yeah, that yeah. was so good. Oof. Okay. Well, he can try oh, again. Nice. Even if he gets, somehow gets hit, we can still like heal him to nearly full, probably. Yeah. Uh, this is not bad. I guess that if we really get bad RNG, we might get stoned. Oh, oh, bro, evil eye? What are we afraid of? Like, come on. Like, I'm thinking like super disaster scenarios where like he misses twice and gets hit. Hmm. But we're fine. We have physic. Yeah, we have physic. We have physic. We'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, we probably didn't need to spend this uh, these times here. Considering the next group is arriving, but they might have to deal with some reinforcements. I don't know. Oh, isn't there reinforcements well, gonna be from like... the top stairs as well? Uh... Top right. Like where we killed the shadow shot guy. Well, Ephraim and Tana's got to cover. One of them I'm can kill him. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, we can like put a summon, so we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just like start breaking this wall, I guess. So you have the option of going in there, and then uh... maybe like walk off and then summon. Yeah, and then summon backwards. I was thinking that the summon will be hard to kill off if we do this, if we need it later, but it's fine. Uh, do you remember how much move phantoms have? It's five or six. It's five, right? It's it's five, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I think if we do six, six we can still move on to the next one, right? You can move back, yeah. That's one, right. Two. He's he's fine. This, we don't have to maximize Combs, uh, <laughs> Noll's movement every turn. Yeah. He'll be okay. He'll be just fine. Yeah, but you Phantom go, ability is deactivated briefly, I guess. We gotta level up Riev. Exactly. I think he's actually close to a level, isn't he? I don't remember what his growths are like, but they're probably not that good. <laughs> yeah, no. We're gonna get, like, HP skill or something. Alright, Garrick, this is what you tanked for. Yeah, this group, honestly, this Ooh. is good. But I think, honestly, they shouldn't even have been here. I think they should have been moving to the south already. Mm. Looking back on it. He'll be okay. Well, though. I mean, there was that spear on turn one, right? Like, we shouldn't yeah, forget that they did this important thing. Yeah, but after the spear was gone, like we could have just moved away from this whole thing. Well, there was a shadow shot guy, but we didn't. Oh god, hmm. make it stop! Kind of baited. Make it stop. Uh, can Riev take these? They have like really strong forty three. Okay, uh, this makes sense. Uh, to be honest, I saw like the reinforcements here, but on Wad, it said two monsters, one to the left of where your group above started, and another in that two square hallway that goes up. And I was like, what the heck is the two square hallway that goes up? But no, I see it. Now. I see a hallway with two squares. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, well here. that's how hindsight works, right? Like, yeah, as long yeah, as the yeah. moment you see exactly. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's mm -hmm. only going to be reinforcements from here for two turns, right? Like, the turns that, it, that we've been here to block it. That's right, those were the two turns. So, the Phantom can do other things now. Mm -hmm. So, so someone's going to, like, check the reinforcements, and there's actually just nothing there at all. <laughs> We're going to look like really silly people. <laughs> That'd be atrocious. Okay, so... I guess my question to do is, what, what do you think is best for future turns? Because we've seen a couple of reinforcements appear. Oh, this guy didn't even move, so he might be blocking friends. Sorry. Oh, I, wow. I interrupted my own thought here. Um, so where do we have to go to stop the most reinforcements, I guess, is the next question. Okay. Um, so here are the remaining ones. Uh, turn three to five. One from the stairs into the only chest. So remaining in this treasure room is pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, turn three to four, two monsters. One to the left of where you group started another brother in that two square hallway that goes up, which we just blocked. Mm -hmm. Right, and now this is turn four run right now. Mm -hmm. Turn yep. four and five, one from the right stairs on the map. It's probably this, I guess, or uh, or this. Like they're both on the right. Okay, so it's not that one because turn eight to nine is a monster from the top right stairs on the map. So that's eight to nine, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Where your cursor is right now. I think mm -hmm. four to five is like the center right near where near where like loot is. Oh, the center uh, right here. Yeah, that's where oh. I want to say. 
but we don't know where they appeared in, right? Yeah. Could be either, so we probably won't even end up blocking those. We could put like two units there, I guess. Uh -huh. Like we could put Garrick and then just like Marissa. Yeah, Garrick, Garrick can fight like one turn without Marissa's help. He's an independent man, right? <laughs> He's a big boy. He could definitely like kill this guy and then fight the last guy by himself. But again, if yeah, it's just not already boy. right here. We don't need that from Garrick. Oh, we could just rotate the whole squad down. Yeah, honestly, yeah, we let's just, just go down can, the, right? the, the big scary hallway. Oh, ooh, check it out. Here's actually something we can do. We can put Garrick on the stairs, right? Right now? Yeah. Oh, right. And is then it... we dance him so Tethys is on the stairs. Oh. And then we go. I like it. And then we put loot there or something along with Tethys? And then we have Garrick, you... Garrick and Marissa go down? You read my mind. That's yeah. exactly that, yeah. All right, cool. I like it. So you go here. You go here. Because these... The stairway reinforcement is this turn, right? Like, double right. right now. Okay, so let's go down. And, and like, we lose some tiles, but we gain some tiles too, right? <laughs> I mean... Gain the big brains. Okay. Let me chill here. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so, my bolting is on Tethys. I guess we can take back off of her. We don't need the... Yeah. The elixir. We, need, we probably don't need the mend right now, because the only person we can heal with it is Tethys. <laughs> oh, true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can even... What can we bolt Attack a... Oh, wow, this is some oh. real value right now. Yeah, we can really get a start on these boys. 10 damage. What if it like starts their aggressive AI? There's no way it does that, right? Let's try it out. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the guy. Well, it was an attempt. <laughs> Wait, it was 24 hit? I didn't even read that. I just saw 10 damage. <laughs> I thought like, it was 24 this is damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just like, well, I saw the 10 and I was like, this is trash, but like just send it anyway, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, we can check his Since combat. He was... Okay, he's trash against oh, these. Oh my god, like, he, he's he, so he lives, bad. I guess, but... It's not great. I mean, we gave a bishop a lightning tome, right? Like, I mean, yeah, we could have done better. It's my I think, fault. I think this is our fault. Yeah. We could have. This is the lightest thing he could have had that doesn't weigh him down as much. But yeah. Yeah. So I guess we could maybe see like not engage this guy either because this death coil didn't move. So probably this this uh, monster also doesn't move and he just blocks a couple friends maybe. Mhm. Mm so just keep moving right maybe. Yeah, he blocks the other guy. Yeah, I guess we just attack and then he dies on any phase. And then he it's going to be like end turn simulator, right? Yeah. I mean, if he dies on any, no, we can't. Okay, hold up. We put we put Ephraim in front. We convoy all those all those weapons, right? So, <laughs> um, so there's nothing from this tile, right? Right now. Mm -hmm. So, just invade this room now to get rid of it. I guess so. I or mean, fight it with Tana, four turn. Yeah, I kind of like all these uh, silly methods that like keep this eyeball blocking the reinforcement again, but. I mean, maybe they are just silly methods, right? Like, maybe that's not the way to do it. Uh, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. It's just comedy. <laughs> oh, I was so oh, ready for oh, it. We can block oh, it. Whoa. Now. If if, if uh, Noel has the move, he can block it this turn. Ooh, he he, totally has is there another move. one from that tile, too? There is, right? Yes, there is. Right. Yeah, turn three and four. Get him, Noel. Get him. Noel is blocking two tiles right now. Holy, he's so good. He's so good. Uh, well, this wall's broken, so we could just, mm -hmm. like, send Tana or Ephraim in there. Kill. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember that anywhere in your like summoners are busted video. Like we yeah. need to we need to write that again. They can block they can block double the reinforcements. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think of blocking reinforcements when I wrote that video. Okay, uh, we need to heal with Ephraim, but then it's fine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, here. And to be fair, how much does that really come up in like FE8? I feel <laughs> like most of the most of the map where the reinforcements are really noteworthy is like their walk-ons, or you just can't do it anyway, right? So. Oh. A red gem. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Yeah. That chest just rolls gotcha. It's not like red, blue, or white gem. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We got the common pool. We need, if we open the chest like 10 times, we get a pity. That's right? true. So. I want my money back for lockpick. I feel like red gem and lockpick almost have equal, equal value. Well, like, yes, but lockpick has 15 uses, so. Rip my joke. You ruined it. Listen, Mecca, you're just you're just wrong. It was just not a very good <laughs> joke. It, it took like no, one sentence no. to ruin. Oh, oh, he did move. They they were smarter oh, wait, than yeah. Gargoyle. Smarter than Death Coil. Is your is your fifth grader smarter than Death Coil? New quiz no. concept. Okay. All right. So this is turn five. So what are we looking at now for reinforcements? Okay. Um, one from the stairs. Okay, the stairs to the chest still exists, right? Mm -hmm. One so from the right stairs of the map. We apparently blocked that one. Uh huh. And then after that, there's actually nothing until turn eight. So oh, so we have we just kill everything now, and we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the, the hard part is like everything is including these yeah. ten guys. But I guess we it's can kind of 
Oh, but the, yeah, these... We have to stay on the stairs for one more turn, do we? Or not? Yeah, we have, to, we have to stay on the stairs for one more turn, and also loot and Tethys have to remain where they are for one more oh, turn. Okay. Or, or we have to block those tiles in some other fashion. All right, Roger, Dude, Roger. this unit sucks. What the heck? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right. um, doesn't even double fires. Okay, so Colm can whoa. technically do damage. Yo, Divine. Ooh. Okay, so Colm stays in the, to block the different forces. Mimi and Mulder just take this guy out, I guess. I guess so. I guess so. How does that work? So this oh, is 43, 43. Down, to, down to 30 HP, right? And then Mulder to finish. Holy, that's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke Nimi Colm. Woke Nimi Mulder. Nimi Mulder with no support. <laughs> Turns out Mulder is support. Mulder's just better. He just oozes support. Get him, oozes Mulder. Support energy. The best way to heal the like heal the allies to kill the enemy, right? Okay. I mean, we, we say this is a lot of work, but Marissa and Garrick are nearly here. And these yeah, guys no. don't have stone, so we can like start some. Uh, there's a longbow dire spear guy. That's whatever. We can like get started yeah. here. Back when we were like, oh, this is gonna be really hard. We actually like we we had our camera pans too far down. We didn't see Garrick and Marissa. Okay. Now that I see they're in town, it's, it's like yeah, we're take, just, it's yeah. still gonna take a bit. But we could do the little trick where we make him go here and one range. Oh, us or true. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. that'll be so good. I don't know exactly. I, we think we break the wall with Marissa next turn and then move Garrick one back, and then they're forced to engage at least. I want to say at least once. Twice, maybe. It's kind of scary. Oh, we'll probably save thing, state yeah, before yeah. we break that wall. So you're staying. True. And there's nothing here reinforcement wise, right? So I guess we just move them down. Or uh, I think this might be too far away. I think we move left to fight these guys, actually. With yes. Both of these, maybe. They kind of want to be together. I feel like. Um, That's right. Maybe just move the Phantom a little bit to get him closer to where Ephraim is. Because we can't really save him anyway. Yeah, this Phantom is dead. <laughs> like. Which is good, like for the record, like that's good. We want that. We can summon a new one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, we didn't we can, check. We can, we can save him. We can save him. Look. Oh, we could save him. And uh, Tana. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go here. Uh, heal Ephraim. What weapon does the Phantom have? Uh, we never check the. Uh, we never check the Phantom Gacha. That's true. Crazy what you couldn't have. What you got, Phantom? Phantom Boy Iron has an Iron Axe. Oh. I mean, he's only level two. Like. No has like leveled up once this whole playthrough. Wait, what the heck? He's only oh my goodness! I thought with how many summons we've done, I thought he would be like level I don't know twelve. Yeah, or but something. a lot of them were like... you and summons as well. Oh, true. Yeah. Uh, well, if we, we can save him, but Tana will be out of support range. But she can live for one turn without support. So, and it's like a C support, so it's fine. Let's yeah, we'll be here. Fine. Check animations again. She solo. just like gets destroyed. Turns out. Yeah, well, not by one guy. Like, come on. And I guess I mean mm. we have. I guess just go right. He doesn't have boots, so wherever you, we kind of need to be a little bit more uh, anticipative or whatever the word is with uh, anticipatory yeah. with Rief because he only has six move. I forgot to boots him. So mm -hmm. does this does this make sense? It probably makes a little bit of sense, right? Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, we just somebody just... has to block that tile one day, right? So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm doing it. Loop might not even be deployed next map, so. Loot has, loot has fallen very far since her <laughs> chapter 19 days. <laughs> or even the, the the phantom ship date, or whatever the day was where she was like still pretty good. Like the, the Gep chapter days, the chapter 9 days. Oh, where she, yeah. Where, she, where, like, where we still had RNG screwed magic units. <laughs> and, and then we had loot, and it's like, holy, this unit's mm. like insane. Okay, he's going to occupy a two-range spot if we put Marissa here now to break the wall. Ooh. Which means that um, this guy, will, or like no, before this guy got here, in before times, there was going to be a two range enemy here, but now there isn't. Mm -hmm. uh, let's save state before we uh, break the wall, because I feel like this is a good yeah, yeah. time to do it. Mm -hmm. Stating to save. Uh, let me check what time we are on. Okay. So I can uh, save some time editing. 44 on these. Okay. Um, billing edge. The billing edge. Okay. Garrick. One square back, please. If you oh, actually, no, further back to make the longbow stay. Well, the longbow probably moves last anyway, but screw it. Just, yeah, just try this. But, but imagine it didn't. Yeah, no. uh, they're free to go, right? I think so. What turn is it? Is it turn six? It's turn six. There we go. They're free to go. All right, let's help out over here. Let's probably need it. There's no reinforcements from the bottom right, so yeah, the only go. yeah, the only remaining reinforcements are that top right stair. Oh, nice. Okay, so if Rev goes there, we're just this is it. This is all we this is all we have. Yep. All right, nice. What you cool. see is what you get. 
noise. I love that, because I don't see a whole lot. Uh, well, in that case, this is easy cleanup. Let's go. Oh, this phantom's gonna live. No! Survivor phantom. Rescue the phantom, the tables have turned. They can't rescue or be rescued. Have you not watched my video? Oh, but they can be given to, right? Yes, they can okay. take drop. And I think you can also gift to them, yeah. Which I think is unintentional. Alright, Luke, you have one more shot at this. Before this guy actually starts, like, moving. Mm. Yeah! That probably still doesn't put him in two-shot range from Ressa, but... We officially attacked with loot. We can even do it again with Tethys. Oh, he moves first. Cringe. Uh -oh. Well... We're gonna totally die and face, like, only one boy. Or good. she's gonna dodge everything. Yeah, or she's gonna kill two Gorgons in one enemy phase. Never seen before. Neither of them have stone. Neither of them have stone. That's Marissa correct. enemy phase? What? The other one just has Crimson Eye, it turns out. No. She's got this. She's got this. Destruction. Holy. Oh, she's kind of deading? Is she fine? Is she though? I mean, like, what else oh. can attack her? Well, n nothing anymore. Oh, there's no more enemies left. Good, 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 good. I like yeah, not yeah. dying. I like not dying. So we have a whole squad of people who can actually attack from behind front lines here, and then we have Colm. <laughs> uh, he technically has S rank, so he could have Homa. I think he has S rank. He, oh, he hasn't. No. Okay, so he can't. He's like a and a half. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think Mulder can kill that guy as well. Yeah, he has enough speed to do it. It just takes a massive counter attack. Mimi can probably do it too. Let me see. I don't think we can light brand a Gorgon to death. So no. it might have to be Marissa finishes him off. And then into Garrick? some kind of like comb and then Garrick and then Mimi action. The thing is, is like once we kill these first two guys, I'm like literally any number of units can infiltrate, True. right? So Truth. We don't have to think about it too much then. Yeah. We can have Colm go from the side, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe Muller can heal. Okay, Ooh. so... I don't think this will kill unless we get lucky. And his hit is so bad! Oh my god, do maybe we have the longbow? We can't do much. We do have a longbow. It has two uses. That... It puts him down to seems like... 25. This seems good, because then it also just, like, compounds the support onto Colm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Well, perfect is, uh... Do we have a Lance Reaver here somewhere, don't we? I have one on Marissa, I think. There we go. Yeah. So we could try that, I guess. Okay. Um, then Garrick can get the last guy, I guess. Or yeah, just ignore that... the last guy because it's a longbow, so like, who cares? That okay. plus the... Uh... So... Mimi? Get through here? And then what? Then we have a longbow remaining, but that's fine. So let's go here. We get the Lance Reaver. The one you slung but for AI minute. Yeah. We always claim we're gonna do that, but then, like it's it, it's frankly just like so complicated to pull off. With a longbow, it seems even extra complicated. Like, what do you do? Bait a stone user into attacking it? Yeah, and then well How do you get value out of it? And then like I don't wanna do that though. I don't want to bait the stone, because then I could get stoned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh Muller could also attack, I suppose. Oh shit, he's good. Holy Hold up. Look at this guy, the boulder. Goodbye. Alright. Glad how that worked out. I guess we have like he's just complaining that like it only looks as good because we gave him lightning to him. <laughs> we get the longbow guy over here so we can kill him. Yeah. And then all we're right. all done and out of a job, I think. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I guess we can get this over it here. But... We can like physic with loot or something, I don't know. Yeah, true. I can move her too. Actually, I like that. That's smart. Don't have to worry about Mulder next turn to have to do it. Yeah, no. We just have another unit here. Turns out Wobble's wrong. There's like a million other reinforcements. Holy, that was a huge heal. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, I, I, we could theoretically like move Tana and Ephraim over, but like this seems like more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, I think your your all your all times are more, worth more than that. That's right. <laughs> oh, spider. Wait, what? Spider. Spider. All right, Wad. You're fine. Did you say spider. something? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Not trusting you anymore. But it's turn eight. What? It's turn. That was turn seven. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Maybe maybe Wad just like whoever played it and made the guy just 
puts you in some really weird squares and blocks <laughs> these things on accident, right? Like, <laughs> you just do that. Well, at least we have these guys over here. Uh, I can like stop the spider from infiltrating the space, but that's in range of a bazillion people here. Yeah, I think it's better to just go and like kill the gorgons, right? Yeah. Hey, uh... Isn't that like? I mean, Isn't is that how this whole good, thing ends anyway? It doesn't kill Gorgons. Mm. So the purple and range of Gorgons right now are Garrick and List. And yeah, he can guard one, sure. But... Yeah, but then like, what about the other three? Yeah. I guess like the boss probably doesn't move, right? Yeah, I think last time we had like the first time a boss dip move, so I'm a little scared of just Ooh. assuming that. You're kind of right. Also, the boss, like, even if it doesn't move, probably has a stone. So he yeah, has a black gem Whoa. though, damn. We, we black want the gotcha, gem, probably. A valuable gemstone yeah. worth 15,000 gold. To be fair, the, the boss is a lot worse skill-wise. So, but also, we but still like, have like, like, several turns to pack. Yeah. Uh, maybe like... How about we just... Like, let's just here? not get baited by the supposed urgency of the spider and like just kind of do the safe approach, right? Yeah. Uh, the thing is like, even killing this guy at one range exposes the stone. Unless Garrick rescues out, I guess. Mm, so, it like, two range? Yeah, I guess we can do, like, we have to like, one use longbow <laughs> to make up for <laughs> the any, longbow uh, mirror non killings. Or just, like, killing edge with Marissa and then finish off. Or. And then just chill, yeah. Killing edge and then Mulder plus Garrick gets her out of there? I don't know. Yeah. I kind of like just putting our units here and being a We can even get, like, loot in here. Because I think the main, de I, the main issue is that. If we just infiltrate this Gorgon nest with only one unit, then it's like we're facing a million stones. But if we can get like even one or two other guys in here to kill a Gorgon, then that player phase is looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, one slight issue is that whoever we put behind Marissa is technically range of two, but really only one because they yeah. they're going from the same square. So maybe like this, and then Garrick rescues Marissa. Even we don't have to rescue Marissa. Probably she's probably fine. Uh, she has yeah, we can just like. We can just physic Marissa or something, right? So, mm. are you saying about, physic her or rescue her? Uh, physic her. I, I kind of want like everyone actionable next turn. Like mm -hmm. I want everyone on the board. I'm ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I was thinking rescue drop. Like, um, well, actually, we can rescue drop her out with Colm. This Colm isn't doing anything. Maybe, maybe Mulder kills. From it's got to be here, right? And then. Mm -hmm. Colm rescues from above, and he can only be attacked once, I think? I think so. No, that's twice. No, he can be attacked twice. Shoot. Uh... And the spider, right? Like... Mm -hmm. Alright, hold up, I got it. Easy. No way. No, that's not it. It's okay, Nimi can well, finish, I guess Nimi can finish. Nimi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nimi, Nimi. Alright, one use bolting on. into one use Nimi longbow, easy. The last use always hits, right? Hey, it says miss. What's that? What's that mean? What? Um... I don't know. We, we discovered a new game mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new plan. Marissa dodges. Yeah, I... pretty There's good. No other way. We dodge. We can, like, grab her, the physics. She dodges. We'll yeah. I think if we just like crowd our army in here, it'll be a bit easier. The problem will kind of solve itself. But like at the edge, like out of their range, mostly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Who physics even? I guess loot had physics. Mm -hmm. Had physic. Had physic. Well, loot has physic, and Mulder has room, so. Yeah. We exist in a game with the trade commands. So. Yeah. Surprisingly, we do. Physique? Le physique. And maybe even. Uh, see, because Marissa is going to be range of stone as well, so maybe we even uh, put Garrick in the spot where you can get. Break and bait one and then use a pure water or elixir. Question mark, but it also puts in range of spiders, so it might not help a whole lot. I mean, it's probably fine, right? Like, if you can just pure water. The pure water is probably enough to make them, like, not do that, right? So, uh, so pure water gets him up to, let's see, 19 res. I think he still gets two shot by two uh, demon surges, unfortunately. 19 res. It's, but it's 22 res because of the support, right? Like, uh, yeah, true. So it actually does make a difference of what you're saying? Oh, I, I haven't done the math yet. <laughs> Whether or not 19 and 22 are different numbers. So 19, I mean, like they 22, are, but... 40 attack, 18 twice. He lives two hits. He just needs to not get hit by this uh, poison claw 
and or stone. Hmm. If the stone moves. Well, no, yeah. the stone can't even do it. The yeah, other I one guess can, we just though. put him above and use pure water then. Yeah, there we go. I mean, like, he needs to dodge to it a three, but Marissa also needs to do that. So, like, what's the difference, right? So Yeah. All right, here we go. And he'll guard the spider on any face, but that's fine. All right, yeah, that'll toughest. be good. All right. Let's do it. Please, guys, be fine. That's good that he moved Here they first. come. That's good. I like that. Oof, mystery I don't know why HP. I <laughs> oh, but <laughs> mystery solved. He's dead. <laughs> we know now he has zero HP. He had more than 80 to begin with. That's all we know. Okay. Ooh. Um, that might be bad. Watch him like mystery double knee me, it turns out. Well, no, he's going to die. And another one is going to come in. Oh, what? No. Oh. I'm sorry. But They're I'm smart. Right. It's okay. Smart enemies? We'll gain speed. That's very smart, yeah, because... Marissa was totally gonna be fine. But they see that they like, die and open up the square. Yeah, we got a, we got him under the twenty HP. That's the problem here. Nah, trust me, she'll dodge. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no! No, you were right, Colm. Right, I am a klutz. Sorry. Uh. Oh my goodness, and an eyeball. And an eyeball. All right, uh, I'll, I'll finish it up later. We, we just play out the last couple enemies here, and I'll get Nimi back from the safe state. And then we'll yeah, be, yeah, we'll yeah. Be on the next map, fresh and Nimi full. Avenger Colm. He just like dies. <laughs> Honestly, not a very unlikely outcome. She also had the freaking Nidhogg. Nidhog. Yeah. yeah, well, the Nidhogg can't be used by anyone. Um, Bexcalibur? Bexcalibur? Whoa. I mean, Hayden those... can use the Nidhogg. Excuse me. <laughs> that implies that Hayden gets more rank on his weapons. Yeah. And a sussy assertion here. I think Colm will not be able to avenge Nimi, but he sure will try. No, he can do it. The silencer. Oh. <laughs> it's silent because you can't hear it hit. Because it doesn't. It's okay. He's just um, luring them into a... No, Pitfall. he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> <Pitfall. laughs> Attempts were made. Maybe the right finisher here is actually loot. Oh, gee. Maybe the right finisher is not actually loot. Anyone but... Uh, these enemies are strong. We should revenge on the Gorgon. That was, that was a smart move for the enemies. Like, wait a minute, we open up the square? I, maybe they just saw they had high expected damage. I, They're not it, that sophisticated. It's definitely like, uh, I think they gain a bonus to targeting priority if they can reduce the enemy's HP under 20? Slash 20%? Yeah. But that's usually where you start dying, so it, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they just saw that. All right. Dang, clever AI. Clever AI, but actually, unbelievable. Cleverest Fire Emblem AI. It's just Fire Emblem PvP. They'll just death ball. Ah, <laughs> like. uh, cringe. Okay. Uh, you get in support range of Marissa. No, you don't. Um, the, the, the when the Excalibur hits every time, right? We just Avenge. chance it. We did it. First try. Well, yeah, it's her first try at this. <laughs> I mean, after all these bolting misses, you'd hope she'd yeah. get one. That's a good level. level skill, awful level. I would love to keep it. Please let me keep it. I asked nicely. Uh, we get, oh, we're just letting Nimi die? No, 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 no. I'm, I'll go back for her after I finish up. But I just want to ha have the map finish animation play. For you oh, sure, sure. For all those watching. Right. We'll go back to save Private Nimi. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whoop. We know the bad Gorgon doesn't move, right? Actually, we have no information on that. We have no information, but he's weaker than everyone else, so he's never going to kill anyone here. Oh, hello. Yeah, no. Can we stop oh, it with goodness. the like eyeballs? They're like not very funny. Yeah, no. This is a not a good prank, actually. <laughs> it's an eyeball-free zone. Yeah, Reddit is complaining about this one. Goodbye. Bye. I mean, it's never gotten to see so many Excalibur animations, though. I also just want to show off the next map before we uh, before we sign oh, off true. today. Uh, hit 76. Want to see Water Temple 2? <laughs> yeah. You enjoyed Water Temple. How about Water Temple 2? That's right. Water Temple. with more water. Boy, what? <laughs> oh, he's a temple. Can we... Oh! The Crimson Flash! I was like... Wait, I was. I just realized, yeah, yeah, we haven't seen any Crimson Flashing today. It's just been yeah, no. disappointments after disappointments. 
Uh, wait, you don't need to heal from this, do you? You're kind of good. Yeah, no, he's just amazing. He's built big. And then just own that gargoyle. Yeah. Dude, he's taking like no damage. Remember, we were... okay, this is the boss actually. <laughs> to be fair, it's, <laughs> it's Marissa support and uh, and the boss. Yeah, and it's the boss, and he's a pure water as well for like that's been worn down twice maybe. I think so. Black worn gem. Down once. Black gem. The that sells for so much. The onyx. I don't know. Yeah, that's. I think Didn't that's kill what with Dusel. Steel lance twenty one. I think so. Right. Uh, Colm, Lance Reaver. You can do like... it, I swear. Apparently there are black pearls, and not just from the Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> movie. It's also a stat booster in three houses. Like, uh, yeah, I have vague memories of those for sure. What stat boosters or three houses? Both. Also Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, sure. I also have vague memories of that. I haven't watched those movies in ages. I know, but I did watch a whole video essay on them, so that counts, right? Yeah, you basically just rewatched the whole movies, <laughs> honestly. What I mean... the? A that, walk on? That's a walk on if I ever saw one. Holy. I know, a walk. <laughs> From all walks of life. Alright, Qualm, hurry up. I don't have time to see your failures. <laughs> I just want to see you kill an enemy. Like, this is this is avenging me, me. Kind of. <laughs> he just, Basically. like, over the course of three turns, just kills one death goil. Like, alright. The point of this unit was definitely worth. This is vengeance. This is my death metal gear revengeance. I don't know. All right, one more. Lou gets a kill with like thunder or something, right? So I mean, she'll definitely get a kill on something. No, Maybe herself. Crimson Flash. Crimson Flash. To finish it off. The Crimson Flash. The Crimson Flash. Woo! All right. In memory, memory of Nimi. In loving memory of Nimi. In ah memory of Nimi. Ah. You can now use Where Walter. Is Walter. Wait, Hold I on. Forgot we'd get him. Yeah, we get this guy. Time to find out if we have his stat screen here. Do we? I mean, I mean, probably have it somewhere. Volter. That's yeah. Gwen. Gwen to Volter. I do not have Volter's screen. Okay. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to you guys later. We'll do uh, the analysis tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. Right, yes. Water Temple 2. This is why I think we can deploy a flyer <laughs> here and not care too much. <laughs> Look at these gargoyles. Yeah, that's the whole like, that's the whole squad. <laughs> make a, make the gargoyle make the death goyle square. <laughs> Bro, I think Tana doesn't like kill these. They cut, I think she comes even close. Like, what the hell does Tana look like right now? Twenty nine speed. I mean, she's good. She's good, but she also has thirty five attack with a couple lands. I, I, also, I think the defense is actually like kind of getting in the way here. 35. Like these guys can kind of thump Tana. I think thirty five attack means that she needs a crit to kill. If she gets double pierce, it's not enough. Yeah, no. Which, to be fair, crits are Holy. way more common than pierce, but damn. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Crit pierce kills, and Holy. crit plus hit, that's like 16 damage, she's... plus like uh, 16 times 3, so 16 times 4, 64. Yeah, she needs crit plus pierce or double crit to kill these guys in one round. What's like, uh, doesn't she have Ephraim 8 support? I she think that supports, helps, actually. But like, it depends on where you fight them, I guess, if Ephraim can be in range, mm. but yeah. I think there there might be pathways that appear in the in the chapter too, because this seems like really hard if you haven't trained a lot of flyers. Yeah, no, this is like a huge map. And even if you have, like, damn, look at where all the eyeballs are, like all the little gargoyles. This 89 HP monster just sitting here <laughs> on the chest. Oh boy. So, yeah, I think this chest is like total trash. I think it's like a divine. Always? Like, or it's like a divine Elfire or like Oh, like it's like a tier. Yeah, whatever the dark tome is, Nosferatu maybe. That's like, kind of cool. That makes sense. Not really. Yeah. This... Then, wait, yeah. Wait. Look at this Joker boss. What the <laughs> heck? Six <laughs> luck, Lamal. It's okay. Seventeen defense compared to thirteen. Yeah. This um, enemy growth in full effect, guys. Also enjoyed uh, the twenty-three speed Cyclops. This, this is. Yeah. These huge. These huge boys. Definitely need to be new support. I think we get ten units. We get nine. Nine. Nine units. That's all you get. Language. Please tell me like bridges appear or something, right? Like they yeah, must... there will be bridges. There will be bridges, but uh, you'll find out where in the next episode. So we'll see yep. you all then. See you then.